Whoa, I'm his love. His life. His life. This disturbance, is this your doing, Ying Wei? I take it you can see through my disguise. None of my soldiers mask themselves. Twas a mistake, but... I didn't think this could be finished without using my trump card. Trump card? Ying Wei! Velvet, tis you! Ingwei, please don't use that power! Ingwei, please! Why did you follow me? It was a mistake to let you keep that cipher. Now is the time to let you in on a secret. Velvet. It was me. I destroyed Valentine. What? Back then, if I hadn't known that this man was our father, if I didn't know his battle plans, and know that he didn't stand a chance, I wouldn't have made the cauldron run amok. No, you... I didn't think it would cause such destruction! You were protected by the Cypher and escaped the curse and disaster. I was saved because... I was hiding in the cauldron's shadow. I watched the kingdom fall into ruin before my very eyes. And I was spared. As you had intended. You talk as if you understand me. In order to save my father, I destroyed an entire kingdom. Can you imagine the pain I feel? I still remember what you said when you looked down at me. You did well, traitor. Now the cauldron is mine. There were other soldiers nearby. I could not call you my son. You don't remember, do you? You didn't care at all. Your eyes and heart were full of greed for the cauldron. No. Is that why you gave the ring to Elfaria? I'd rather the fairies have it than give it to you. That must hurt the Aesir. You... I will pay for my sins with my life. I shall be cursed, and I will die. If I am the only one who has to suffer my mother's curse, then so be it. Stop it, Ingwei! But I will take you and the cauldron to my grave with me. Try using your magic. If you think you can surpass the power of Darkova!
The transformation aborted. I couldn't finish the spell. Don't interfere, Velvet. Mother wished for my death. No! Listen to me, Ingwe! Don't worry about me. Go escape now! Back then, we were scared. Scared that our grandfather would kill us. So we swore in front of him. Swore that we didn't love our mother when she was standing right there. She was crying then. But she didn't cry from the pain. She was happy that we chose the path of life instead of death at his hands. She knew that she could not escape death. If we sided with her, we would have been killed also. That's not true. We had forsaken her. We didn't lift a finger to save her. That's why she cursed us before she died. Grandfather was hiding this. It's the second part of the memo she wrote to us. She writes of her love for both of us. That, that can't be true. I... I abandoned her. You're safe, Your Majesty. There they are! Kill them before they do more harm! Wait, those two are... What? It looks like this is the end for us, Ingwei. <clears throat> Over here! Hurry! Prince Cornelius! You must be wondering about Ingwei. He left his bed, and we haven't found him. But I'm certain he will appear again. Have you seen my father? He's badly injured, but he's run off. Master Croy? Oh, Princess Velvet, I finally have the answer. I, I, I have to tell you. Master, please rest. No, this is important. Listen to me. As the sorcerer said, the epic poems detail the path leading to the world's end. But it's not the path to becoming king. That path has been seen. In our country's prophecies, this is the path that must be avoided. Master! Even if this interpretation is correct, the, the outcome is horrible. Two humans survive the end of the world. Princess Velvet, only two will be... Spared. Father! Master Croy. This scroll has the details. Please use the utmost care and try to avert the Armageddon. Perhaps that is your duty and your destiny. <laughs> 